The Pale-Faced Lie, A True Story is David Crow's haunting memoir recounting his harrowing childhood and journey to overcome a legacy of family dysfunction, violence, and psychological trauma. Crow, born in 1954, offers a riveting narrative of his life, beginning with his parents' volatile marriage, marked by his father's violent temper and criminal behavior, and his mother's mental illness and emotional instability. The story opens with a young David living on a Navajo Indian reservation, where his father Thurston Crow, a former law enforcement agent, worked as a civilian advisor to the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Thurston is portrayed as a charming but deeply flawed man, complex and skilled in Navajo traditions, yet an unrepentant criminal beneath the surface. Crow's mother, a European-American, is out of place on the reservation and descends into a world of paranoia and delusion, further complicating family life. Crow's early years are a melange of fear, adventure, and confusion as he navigates life amongst his three siblings and unpredictable parents against the backdrop of the expansive and austere reservation. Despite loving aspects of Navajo culture, the family experiences isolation and an inability to fit in with either the Navajo community or the white society to which they technically belong. While living on the reservation, David is forced to fend for himself and his younger brother, Linwood, finding solace and companionship in the beautiful but desolate natural environment surrounding them. As time passes, the Crow family's dysfunction reaches alarming levels. Thurston involves David in various criminal activities such as burglaries and arson, coercing him into a life of crime along with instilling him with a sense of loyalty and fear through psychological manipulation and the threat of violence. One of the most distressing episodes occurs when Thurston forces David to shoot and kill his beloved dog, Gindy, under the guise of strengthening his character. The incident is deeply scarring and epitomizes the twisted lessons Thurston imparts to his son, toxic concoctions of cruelty and pseudo-survivalism. David's mother, Greta, reeling from her unpredictable and tumultuous relationship with Thurston, eventually leaves the reservation, taking the children with her to Denver, Colorado. However, life outside the reservation fails to offer the respite they so desperately needed. Greta's mental health continues to deteriorate, leading to her institutionalization and leaving the children to navigate the world largely alone. The family's downward spiral culminates in Thurston being convicted of multiple charges related to his past criminal activities. His arrest, rather than being a turning point for the family, plunges them further into chaos. David, grappling with the absence of both parents, makes a series of bad decisions that lead to his involvement with crime and run-ins with the law. However, an intrinsic drive for self-preservation and desire for a better life propels David to seek change. In a pivotal moment, he decides to enlist in the Air Force, an action that serves as a catalyst for his transformation. The structured environment of the military, along with the guidance of a few pivotal mentors, helps David begin to untangle himself from his father's destructive grip. Crow's memoir does not shy away from exploring the deep psychological impact of his upbringing. There is a constant tension between his loyalty to his family and his yearning for escape and normalcy. Despite these challenges, Crow displays resilience and determination to transcend his circumstances. After his discharge from the service, David faces the reality of his father's terminal illness. Confronted with conflicting emotions, he debates whether to reunite with his estranged father. Eventually, David decides to visit Thurston, a decision that provides a backdrop for reflection, confrontation, and an attempt to find some measure of peace with his past. In his father's final days, David attempts to reconcile with Thurston and to glean some understanding of the man beyond the monstrosity although complete forgiveness and understanding remain elusive. David is also confronted with his mother's mental illness once again, striving to offer her support despite the years of neglect and abuse. The resolution of this family saga is complex. David acknowledges the impossibility of fully escaping the shadows cast by his parents' actions, yet he resolves to build a different kind of life for himself. In doing so, he challenges the notion that a person is doomed to repeat family patterns. While his own marriage and family life have their challenges, David is resolute in his commitment to be a different kind of father and husband than his own father was. 
As the narrative concludes, David Crow illustrates the struggle of confronting and overcoming the past. Despite the hardship, he finds some degree of healing through sharing his story and fighting the invisible demons of his childhood. The memoir closes with a sense of cautious optimism, leaving readers with a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. Crow's writing is poignant and introspective, bringing to life the raw and real emotions of his experiences. The Pale-Faced Lie stands as a moving reminder of the profound effects that parents can have on their children and the enduring power of personal transformation. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.